Hi there, Serial Trader here. Just want to do a check in with uh, Canopy Growth Corporation, uh, ticker symbol WEED, weed for the Canadian ticker or for the US ticker CGC. And I'll just be using the US chart here as it's now the more relevant one given the uh, higher volume it typically sees over weed. Uh, but let's just take a big picture look here to kick things off. So this is the weekly chart of CGC. And uh, using all its price history, we got a primary wave one up here. Uh, just, I have it as primary up. Primary wave two down here, then primary wave three up, and then primary wave four, and it is a triangle. And then we did a one, two, three, four, five up for primary wave five of what I'll call cycle wave one. So pretty large degree there. And now uh, looks like we've come down in a correction. In fact, a Fibonacci retracement. So this is the all time low of CGC. I pulled off the uh, all time high there from the all time low. The 50% retracement came in right here at 3013. Uh, so just so you know that that's what the retracement is. The uh, Fib pull from this overall five primary waves up. And uh, I also have this trend line that connects uh, primary wave two with primary wave four and just goes out into the future. And that's been acting as nice support uh, along the way up here. So that's the weekly chart. Uh, I'm gonna dive into the daily uh, and let's have a look at this now. So from our all time high, it looks like we put in a decent, uh, hang on here. Maybe I need the four hour chart. To, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably gonna work a little better here. Okay, so from the all-time high, we got a one, two, three, four, five down for wave A. We got an A, B, C up for wave B, and a one, two, three, four, five down for wave C. So it certainly counts as complete. Uh, we also have the 618 relationship between A and C projected off of B. That came in at 29.79. Didn't quite hit it, although it got very close here. We went as low as 30.27. Uh, you can also see we're bouncing off this uh, long-term long-term support line quite nicely. And that's been a very long-term support line as I pointed out. And we're also on right around that 50% retracement from the all-time low to the all-time high. So a nice confluence of uh, support here, both Fibonacci and also just uh, trend line support. And uh, nice, just three wave decline from the high, simple zigzag, ABC down. Um, so yeah, overall looking good. And I'll also point out here, on the uh, daily chart, point out on the daily chart that, uh, so we made a low in RSI over here on the A wave down at uh, just over 30, 33, 33.54. Uh, the actual low is 31.71 here, but that wasn't the price low. So right around 30, we made the low in RSI for wave A. Uh, came up in wave B, then we came down in wave C, made a slightly new low. So a lower low in price, but clearly a higher low in RSI. So that's a nice uh, RSI bullish divergence here on the daily. And now we're just starting to come up here again, finding nice trend line support. And I'll just switch to the candlestick chart here now. And we finally did a doji start here after a bearish engulfing, did a doji, no follow through from that bearish engulfing. And now positive trading and a close above the daily T-line. So it looks like we might be starting a new uptrend here. It'd be nice to see it break out of the channel, then obviously be making higher lows and higher highs along the way. But from a longer term perspective, it looks like a great entry. And uh, the implication of course is that eventually this is a three wave decline after a five wave advance. Eventually we'll be taking out the old highs to the upside, which uh, on CGC was 59.25. Not right away of course, we'll have to trend up there, but Looks like a great entry to try and uh, capture that. So I've started averaging into a stock position. Uh, currently the stop should go go below just uh, this low here at 3026. So the stop should be at 3025 for stock. And I'll be looking to add to this position as uh, as time progresses here. Don't wanna go in you know all at once here, just in case we do get some near term uh, weakness and, and test the lows once again. But it's looking really good. Um, and I just, I love how we're finding support on this trend line that we've continually found support on, on our way up. I love the wave count. 
Love that we did that Fibonacci 50% retracement of the uh, entire move up from the all-time low. Love that that lines up kind of with the 618 relationship between A and C and also this trend line. So this all applies to weed as well, but I've just shown it on the CGC chart because that's the one that's uh, more relevant to me at this point. So yeah, just from uh, you know the overall chart, we got uh, five up for one, uh, cycle wave one. Looks like we have three down for cycle wave two, uh, potentially. And now, you know, looking to go higher in uh, cycle wave three, uh, probably much higher, but uh, one wave at a time. Nice to have that big picture context, though. So yeah, I just thought I'd present that as uh, this looks like an extremely nice uh, bullish candidate, especially for a, a longer term uh, type of position. All right, and just having a peek at the uh, fingers from candlestick chart. Uh, not a whole lot to add, but I'll just mention that um, we have this 200 day simple moving average, uh, which also comes in as a nice uh, support level along with that long term trend line and our, our fib relationships and everything else. So just a nice confluence, a nice congestion area, uh, you know, where, where you'd look for a bottom and early signs here, obviously very little confirmation that we bottomed. Uh, but you know, sometimes I like to try and really get in early on a new trend. So this looks like one of those times, uh, mild close above the T line. Uh, of course we want to see continuation getting above the high of this bearish engulfing candlestick would produce that, uh, to be a failed bearish engulfing, which is actually a pretty strong pretty strong buy signal. A failed sell signal can be a very strong buy signal. That's definitely a, a nuance you learn. And then obviously once you have the, you know, bullish cross of the, the 3T line crossing above the T line, uh, that would just be further confirmation and breaking out of the channel, this corrective channel all at the same time. So yeah, looking really good here. Keep your eyes on this one. And I'm definitely uh, gonna continue establishing uh, a position on this. All right, Serial Trader signing off.